What's going on guys? My name is Brother Faris and welcome to my YouTube channel. I know I don't post too often here, but that's all about to change. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. First of all, I want to say thank you for helping me get to 50,000 followers on Instagram. All right, that's been a huge milestone of mine, a huge goal, and it was a grind, but you guys supported me, and I'm so, so grateful, so thank you very much. And this Q&A is for you guys. So I made a post on Instagram, and I told you guys to ask me anything, and I got over 200 questions. A lot of them were fitness related, some of them were personal, and I'm going to try to get through as many as I can, so let's get it. First question. Now this was the most asked question by far, so I think I'm gonna just have to say this first, and that was, how old are you and where do you live? All right, those two questions were asked so many times. So um, I'm 27 years old, I just turned 27 a couple months ago, and I live in USA, in Virginia to be exact. Where are you from? Now this is a hard question to answer because I'm so diverse, I'm so mixed. And I'm blessed to be so mixed, but if you look on my Instagram profile, I have all these different flags. And so a lot of people ask, like, where are you from? I don't get it. So I was born in England. My mom has Jamaican roots. My dad has Kenyan roots. And I grew up in USA. And I speak Arabic like an Egyptian, so people think I'm Egyptian as well. So when people ask me where I'm from, I got to tell a whole story. But uh, yeah, there you go. What is your life goal? Now that's a great question, all right? So, uh, man, that's a hard question too, actually. So obviously, fitness is a huge part of my life and I would love to, you know, obviously have a, a huge and long career out of this, but my life goal is bigger than fitness, all right? I wanna motivate and inspire people in as many ways as possible because I look at health, not just how fit you are, but it's also your mental health your spiritual health, your internal health, all of this plays a role into wellness. And so I want to be able to inspire and motivate and promote health in every single aspect just so we can live better lives. What did you study in college? I studied kinesiology. If you don't know what kinesiology is, it is the science of human movement. What made you choose kinesiology and what's next? Um, I used to, I just always loved, you know, human movement as I was an athlete as a kid. I was always looking for ways to get stronger, to get faster, to jump higher and so on. And so when it came time to go to college, I was like, you know what? I already love this. Let me just study this and learn even more. What's next? I mean, I would love to train at the highest possible level with professional athletes, professional teams. So uh, we'll see. Can I take you on a date? <laughs> So um, I'm married, all right? For those who don't know, I am married, I have a wife. But if it's a day to the gym, let's go. How did you start your fitness journey? So it all started, I would say, in high school. I was a track and field athlete. And like I said, I was always trying to look for ways to get stronger, faster, uh, you know, to jump higher. And then from there, I just did all my own studies and I just learned to love it. I was like, wow, I'm pretty good at this. So not only was I good, but then I loved it and I was passionate and then it just all went from there. Assalamu alaikum, what's the best thing you can do in hard times? Wa alaikum as uh, the best thing to do in hard times is just trust in Allah, all right? Trust in God and everybody's gonna go through hard times, everybody's gonna go through good times, but you just have to remain strong and just understand that every single thing that you're going through is only gonna make you stronger, all right? It's only gonna help you learn more than what you did before and it's gonna pave the way to greatness, all right? So stay strong, you got it. How do you balance life? So balance life as in train hard as well as like have time for my wife and my family and then work. You know, a lot of it is integrated and I'm not the greatest at balance to be honest, but just make sure that you set time for what matters most to you, all right? You gotta prioritize your family, you gotta prioritize your health, and then obviously you gotta make time for work, all right? Don't let any one thing take over on the other, cause then one, you're gonna end up either neglecting your health, neglecting your family, or you work so much and then like you're, you just go crazy. So make time for everything that matters to you. How to get work hard while others are hating and beating you down. So 
I'm, I'm guessing how to work hard when others are hating and beating you down. Don't care what people think, all right? Don't care what these haters think because at the end of the day, as long as you have a vision on what it is you want to achieve and what you want to do in life, nothing else matters, all right? There's always going to be haters, whether it's your family members, whether it's people who say that they're your friend, you know, there's always going to be people, there's always going to be people hating on you and you just have to not look at them and just continue going forward. That's it. Because ultimately, if you care about what they think, then you're not going to get anything done in life. What sports did you play, if any, and why did you stop? So I played track and field as a kid, especially long jump and triple jump. Those are my best events, as well as the 100 meters and the 60 meter dash. I had the school records in my high school, played at the college level, and it was amazing, you know. Why did I stop? Honestly, I just had my focus on other things. When I was in college, I was more focused on school than the actual athletics. And, um, you know, do I regret it? You know, I wish I did pursue it more, but I'm thankful that at least now I'm still living healthy and that I can promote fitness and health in another way. Who is Brothers Idol? Uh, honestly, I wouldn't say I have any idols, you know, like there are people I look up to in terms of their, their fitness. Uh, for example, Mohamed Salah, I, he's a great player, a great role model. Um, Usain Bolt, I love his training style. There's a bunch of NFL players like Lamar Jackson, this guy has crazy agility, he's amazing. Muhammad Ali, just for what he stood for and his work ethic. You know, um, Giannis Antetokounmpo, just for the way he was brought up, the way he struggled through and the, what he became. How do you build your Instagram? Just be consistent, you know, be consistent, you know, be creative, be you, you know, let people understand you're a person and not just a robot and whatever it is you're trying to promote, just, you know, be, be happy about it, like it, enjoy it, don't get obsessed with, you know, the likes or whatever and just have fun with it. Most powerful diet and exercise ligament injury. So honestly, it's going to depend heavily on the severity of the injury and where it is, all right? If it's like a basic kind of grade one sprain type of thing, then you can heal up within about a week or so, a couple weeks. But um, if it's more severe, then obviously you're gonna need to just rest even more. The best thing you can do overall though is just rest, use some ice, you know, uh, in terms of diet, make sure you have a balanced diet, make sure you have a lot of protein that's gonna help with the repairing. Make sure you have omega-3s and omega-6s, the healthy fats, because that's going to help reduce the inflammation. So, um, you know, an overall balanced diet is going to benefit you and rest. What is your schedule of workout? So typically, the way I train, I'll do upper body splits and lower body splits. And then if I have specific things I want to work on, then I'll add those in in some other days. I'll also section out days specifically for speed and agility work. So, yeah. How many hours a day do you physically train? Not too long. I mean, between 45 minutes to maximum two hours. Can you release off-season American football program for power and speed? Most definitely. Stay tuned and I will have a lot of programs out specifically for the off-season and for the in-season. Full training programs for explosiveness? Yes, I do have many programs. If you're interested, send me a message here or DM me on the Instagram. How to improve vertical. This was probably the third most asked question. And the way to do that is, first of all, you gotta have a good amount of strength, all right? You gotta build up your strength. And then also you can work plyometric exercises into your routine, those are gonna help, all right? So if you don't have a good base of strength, then focus on that and then get into the advanced plyometric exercises, that's gonna help. Can I improve my speed or is it difficult? Yes, you can improve your speed. Uh, is it difficult? I mean, nothing is easy or else everyone would do it. You know what I mean? But if you train right and if you're dedicated, you'll improve it. Are you a pro athlete? What do you train for? I'm not a professional athlete. Um, I'm not training for anything specific. I'm just trying to be a beast, trying to be the best, trying to motivate and trying to train professional athletes. And if I become one, hey, that's a great story too. How long have you been living in the U.S.? Did you finish college? I've been living in the U.S. since I was five years old. There were a couple years where I lived in the U.K. and lived in some other places. 
but uh, predominantly here in the US since I was five. Yes, I finished college. General diet advice to shred weight. The best thing you can do is just not eat so much, honestly. Like, if you're gonna overeat, if you have more calories than what your body needs, you're gonna gain weight, all right? So just watch the total amount of food you're eating. And of course, stay away from junk, like fast food, you know, um, sweets and other things like that. Have it in moderation, but just don't overeat. Can you tell us your meals throughout the day? Uh, breakfast, I, I love having oatmeal. Oatmeal, I'll put protein in it. I'll put peanut butter, almond butter. I'll have fruits. If I'm not having that, then I'll have eggs and like cereal. Uh, for lunch, I'll typically have like either a nice sandwich. Like it's all balanced in terms of protein is the base. And then I'll have a good amount of carbs. Um, I love fruits throughout the day. Snacks, I'll normally eat like these protein cookies I love. If I don't have those, then I'll just have fruits, maybe some nuts hummus, things like that, and dinner, I have like rice or I have potatoes, fish, chicken, beef, like I literally switch it up all the time, so, so yeah. Best exercises to increase sprints, honestly the best thing to do is to sprint, alright, that's going to be the most optimal thing you can do, um, I mean doing accessory work like lunges, things like that, those are effective because obviously it's going to build strength needed to sprint but sprinting is going to be the most optimal so working on how fast you can move your legs working on your stride length and things like that that's going to help you the most how often do you eat junk like sweets crisps do you count nutrients or you eat by your feelings um i don't eat it often to be honest not because i'm conscious about like my my figure or the way i look but because i just don't desire it all right I don't eat sweets much because I don't, I don't want it, you know what I mean? Do you count nutrients or do you eat by feeling? Um, honestly, I don't count any nutrients, but I've been doing this for quite some time and I can understand that this is either too much for me or this is too little for me. And also I go by feeling, all right? I know if I'm still hungry, I'm gonna eat a bit more, all right? Have you been told to leave a gym for being so extra? Yes, Gold's Gym told me one time, to leave and they actually got rid of my membership they terminated my membership and I wasn't so extra I was it's just the way I train you know but um, people were scared and they kicked me out but since then never happened again how do you get so passionate about training better so I just want to always be the best you know I want to be the best version of myself that I can possibly be and the human body is capable of so many things and I'm just in my mind I'm like why would I limit myself and not live to my full capability so because of that did my own studies did my research did trial and error and now I'm just trying to still continuously be the best version of myself what are the exercises to activate fast twitch muscle fibers so I post a lot of this on Instagram, all right? Lift heavy, uh, do quick movements, be explosive, anything where you're exerting the maximal amount of power, those are gonna activate those fast twitch muscle fibers. How does 50K feel? Honestly, it feels good, but it doesn't really mean that much to me because I love posting the same way I do now than when I had like 1,000 or even 100 followers you know it's not something that's going to define me or change who i am as a person you know i'm not going to walk around with a tattoo on my face 50k i mean it social media is social media and it really doesn't define who a person is you know because there's so much people don't see off the camera than what is shown on camera so um in terms of me being able to motivate and inspire that many people i mean it feels great but other than that i mean it's just a number so I'm going to leave that there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys learned something about me. And once again, I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like I said, because there's going to be a lot more content I'll be posting. And yeah, I'm just excited for the future. Thank you. Until the next video, I'll see y'all soon.